Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a deck profile for the Ice Rider uh, Calyrex VMAX. Um, this is maybe the uh, less hyped of the two VMAXs so far, the two Calyrex VMAXs. But even though it is weak to metal, it doesn't mean it is completely unplayable. It still has some very decent, very powerful attacks. And um, there are definitely some ways we can get around it with this specific build. So yeah, let's just get right into it with our star Pokemon here. We have our Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, which has a first attack for 2 class energy, Emperor Ryu. We do 10 damage, but we also do 30 more damage for each of our opponent's bench Pokemon. Which means if our opponent has exactly um, exactly 5 bench Pokemon, we're going to be dealing 160 damage for just 2 energy. So... Not bad, because that two shots most VMAX is that one shot sent to Scorch VMAX for just two colors energy. But that is mostly just, that is not our best attack. Our best attack is the G Max Lance attack, which is 10 damage, and you can discard up to two energy from this Pokemon, and it does 120, 120 more damage for each energy that you discard. So you can do 200, 250 damage if you discard two energy from your Ice Rider Calyrex. So, what you can usually do is you can use the G-Max Lance and then finish off with Emperor Ride, or you can just G-Max Lance for 2 energy and then next turn G-Max Lance for 1 energy. We're playing some healing so this guy can stay alive for a pretty long time. So yeah, let's just get right into it, starting off with 4 copies of Ice Rider Calyrex v -Max. Of course, this is our main attacker. We're going to be finding it as much as we can. We don't play very much Evolution Search. In the list, we don't play any Pokemon communications, so we only have four copies of this um, VMAX. Uh, I mean, only four copies. What am I saying? Um, so we have four copies, so we can draw into it as much as possible. Now we also have we have two of the Promo Calyrex V um, and two of the regular one from the set. Um, this says they're both decent cards. The Promo one here. Have an attack for Water Colorless Blizzard that does 10 damage and it also does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So a little bit of spread, you can use that like to finish off some tag teams. Maybe you can G-Max Lance a tag team and then finish off with a double blizzard or something like that. Um, but then we also have two copies of the regular V, which just has an attack uh, straight one water for 40 and then two water colorless for 200 and discard two energies. So um, they're both decent. This one also has two waters on the card, this 140. But um, this one maybe can just get a little bit more damage in. This one hits harder than this one, but this one also has a little bit um, more better. Also just spreads in general. Um, so we're playing the 2-2 split of the promo to the regular Calyrex V. And then we're also playing to Frostmoth and, and to Snom. This is how we're going to be loading up our Calyrex. I'm not playing like a 4-2, a 4-3 um, Snom line, a uh, Frostmoth line, because usually we're only going to be using Ice Dance a couple times in a game, usually early in the game, to load up one Calyrex, because you don't have to discard all energy when you do um, G-Max Lance. You only have to discard two, which means you can load this guy up with five energy and do G-Max Lance twice, and it's not even counting turn attachments. So we only have a 2-2 two -two Frostmoth, just really because we're only going to need the Ice Dance to load up our first VMAX and then maybe our uh, our v another like V attacker and then another VMAX. Now we're also playing two copies of Jirachi Amazing Rare. Of course, it has the awesome Dream Revelation ability, which lets us look at how two cards of our deck. One of them into our hand, but the other one right back on top, so it can Marnie proof us and just helps us dig through our deck a little bit more. We're not actually playing any Dedenne and Crobat. That's because we want to play Paps the Peak in this deck just to try and stunt our opponents. Um, so we're going to be playing two Jirachi as well as two Snorlax to try to draw through our deck. So this is the Pokemon lineup we have before for Calyrex, two to Snom, two Jirachi, and two Snorlax. Moving on to our supporters. We have got four copies of the Professor's Research. Uh, of course, we're, this is just the best draw card in the game. We're going to want to be, um... Digging through our decks as much as possible so we can hit our Frost Moss, hit our Energies, and hit our VMAXs. And also, we have Snorlax and Jaji to help with that too, but of course we're going to be playing the best, the best draw score in the game. We're playing three copies of Boss's Orders as our Gust. And we also have the Tag Call package here. We have 
The YouTube is Monhala. And this lets us um, search our deck for a stadium card, but also if we discard two other cards from our hand, we can also search our deck for a tool on um, a special energy. And this is how we're going to be able to get out our weakness card consistently. It's also going to help us, so it's not only does it help us get our weak, uh, our weakness card organization decks, but it's also going to help us get out our path to the peak to uh, make it more difficult for our, our opponents. And it's going to help us get out an air balloon so we can attach them to our Jirachi, help them move for, more fluently, and help us draw more cards each turn. And then, since we're also playing the tag calls, we're going to be playing Scubbies and Malalana. We're going to try and want to keep that Calyrex alive for three to four turns, hopefully. And those Malalanas can help us do that. We're playing two guys of Marnie because it is another really nice draw card and disruption card. And then we're just playing one copy of Cynthia and Caitlyn because it can, you know, get it back our boss's orders for game, get back our Marnie if our opponent has a gigantic hand near the end of the game. And our stadium cards is two copies of Path of the Peak. Now, since we're only playing two of them, you could like play the Denny GX, you could play a Crowbat V. Um, since we're only playing two of them, our opponent also maybe have, has counter stadiums to that Path of the Peak. So maybe you also want to just get rid of them entirely. Just, you could just get rid of the Path of the Peak entirely, put in an Ectodene and a Crowbat, maybe slot in some communication somewhere. Um, but Path of the Peak is also just, just going to help us slow our opponent down and help us stay in tempo and stay, stay in the head of the game. Iron cards is, of course, for Quick Ball, so we can get our Snoms, we can get our Calyrexes, and get our Snorlax and Jirachis to help us draw our cards. We have three copies of Switch. Of course, we want to be moving our um, Calyrex in and out of the active so we can accelerate it with Frostmoth. And we're going to want to move in our Jirachi and Stormaxis in and out of the active, as they both have to be in the active, use their uh, use their abilities. And then we have two copies of Tag Call, just a little mini Tag Call engine. We also have the we have the Guzman Hall and Malalana and Cynthia and Caitlin to search with the Tag Call, and the Tag Call is just going to help us find those cards uh, more consistently. And then we have two copies of Evolution Incense because Evolutions are the main part of our deck. We have our VMAX and our Frost Moth, so our Energy Acceleration and our Main Attacker are both on Evolutions, so we're of course going to want to be playing Evolution Incense. We have got two copies of Air Balloon, so we can attach them to our Jirachis, move them in and out to the active. Uh, it serves as a nice small Lana pivot on a Jirachi. Um, and just Air Balloons are good in general, since we're only really playing three switch and one escape rope, um, then Air Balloons will just help us move our Pokemon that little bit more. And finally, for the um, items, we have one level ball because level ball searches out our Snom and Frostmoth line, our Complete uh, Frostmoth line, and our Jirachis. So help us search out our, our energy acceleration and our Snom. Our energies is two weak discard energies. Of course, we want to be getting rid of that weakness against Zation decks, things like against Zation ADP, things against. Um, uh, Zation Luke Metal, Corviknight, um, and also maybe even Metagross VMAX. Metagross VMAX has been confirmed to be in Chilling Rain, and that could be a decent card too. So maybe even, even though we don't know what Metagross VMAX does, we just card energy could help us um, against that. One more special energy is Capture Energy. Capture Energy, um, VMAX, uh, Lance, it says energy, which means you don't have to discard water energy, it means you can put two water energy in the sky, and discard a capture energy for the attack and do 120. You can put two water energy on the sky, discard a capture energy and a water energy and do uh, 250 damage. Um, so just capture energy um, can um, use our can be used in our um, Dumax lamps, but also can help us search out our Snoms and our Jirachis and Stormlocks. It's just everything. Capture energy is just a really good card in general. And then our, our water energies is 10 water energy. We are playing no capacious bucket. That's something you could add. Maybe you want to add one or two capacious buckets to help us find our water energy more. But since our attack is only two water energies, and we also have these special energies that can be discarded as well, we're not going to need um, too many water energies in the deck. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I sure our Calyrex is not as bad as people are making it out to be. If you play the Taggle engine with some weakness cards, you'll probably be finding a station decks since a lot of uh, metal decks aren't playing very much energy removal um, at the moment. I mean, they can play Phantom Blades, which immediately kills your matchup against them because they can just get rid of your weakness guard energy. 
But in general, this deck is probably a fine deck. This has a little bit more iffy matchup against uh, Zacian focused decks. Yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys like it, don't forget to leave a like. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe as I do a whole bunch of Pokemon TCG uh, content, deck lists, and things like that. Uh, that'll be it for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.